we have an issue we have an issue hunchback here we go so we have an issue when i left you guys last week was it wednesday yeah it was wednesday um oh the lights have come on um we had a scroll problem we've got a uh, sprite issue and it all went pear-shaped well i figured out the scroll problem right so oops let's let's run it right so there's there's quasi right the keyboard doesn't work because we've turned off the kernel yeah so there's quasi and we sorted the scroll the scroll is now working now look up here look up here up here look it's glitching and that's because the update sprites is is taking up so much so much i mean look i don't know why jill's here so there is a clear problem with the multiplexer library yeah but it's t it's just taking up so right this is the sorter yeah and the yellow is doing the scroll yeah so that the yellow is the scroll but this green band here is the sorter and look it it, the, it pushes everything down so the yellow is here and it pushes everything down so the scroll has taken a lot more time because we've got uh, a multiplexer sort of going on and yeah so we need to we need to um we need to make some changes oh you are great mr defender no thank you i haven't got a sound for that yet i ain't got a sound for that <laughs> i'm still working on it let's do it Let's do it. Thanks for buying the shirt, mate. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I, 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 I think they do. Oh, thank you, mate. It's, 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 it's a pleasure. You, you've broke my, my, my merch cherry, mate. Oh, you're going to get the hoodie. Yeah, I'm thinking of getting the hoodie as well. But I'm also I'm getting the I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the the mug, and I'm going to get um, um, you're a plank, John, and uh, <laughs> pay attention to Jack one. I'm going to get them. Right. So we've got a problem with the multiplexer now. What happened on Wednesday when the scroller went? You <laughs> need one that just says pants. <laughs> Hang on. Let me just make a note of that. Because I'm not I'm not going to put a load of shirts out there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have... We'll have the, the normal ones. And then we'll have some special edition ones. Where they're only on for a, a short space. For a, a limited time. So it can be limited edition t-shirts. May do that. May do that one as a limited edition. You know, pants. Yeah, that's another one of my favourite words, isn't it? Or plank. That's another one. Right. Yes, I have thought about that, mate. I have thought about that. <laughs> what a wally. <laughs> 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 this should work this should work yeah oh why have i well i bet i've broken it that's another one isn't it oh easy peasy yeah i bet i've broken it anyway <laughs> oh yeah there you go i say that <laughs> you guys are telling me how i <laughs> my common phrases that i don't even know <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, back to this. 
Now, the problem last week, the problem why, if we didn't put the multiplexer on, make a bingo card for chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, the plot, the, it's back to the... Yeah, I, I'm, I was going to ask somebody after the stream what that meant. <laughs> right. Go on then, mate. Tell me what it means. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Okay. Okay, we can certainly... Um, that could be one of the games, like Salam as the race game. Oh, <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> right, we'll see what we can put in the bot for that. See what we can put in the bot. Anyway, back to the multiplexer. So, when we add the multiplexer off, so let's turn let's turn the multiplexer off and run the run it. Yeah. So now we're back to just the nut, just our normal eight sprites. Yeah. So we four of them are used because we've got we've got um, Jill in there somewhere. Yeah, there she is. So four of them have been used. Yeah. Now I've turned off. I've turned off dying at the moment, and everything works. But as soon as I put the multiplexer on, it all it all broke. Yeah, remember when we when we scrolled over, it just did the uh 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 uh. Well. The reason for that was the multiplexer is using zero page, a lot of it, all right? So we've got our we've got our array in zero page, so where it sorts depending on its y axis, and then we've got some zero pages here. So we're using a lot. The problem was that this was originally at zero a and this was at 10, hex 10. And the scroller <laughs> was using the same zero page locations. And so the, mul the multiplexer was <laughs> destroying the scroller because the scroller's going, I'm not too sure where I am. Right, I'll stay where I am. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. And it, it was even throwing the the screen copy off it was even throwing the screen copy off so what I've done is I've moved the multiplexer to 138 onwards so it's out of the way and hopefully will not will not touch it and so that sorted the scroll out but we've still got the problem that the update the sprite update routine is taking way too much time absolute bucket loads of time and we've got to figure out why right so this this routine here we've got to find out why it's why it's doing it now there are several issues yeah we've got Jill that's all the way over there on the stage and she's active yeah she's active but she's not on screen but the multiplexer thinks she's 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 active, and I can demonstrate this by if we run the debugger. Du, 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 du. Go on, then, microman. Was it F? Couldn't. There we go. That's the one. Look, the animation's running for Jill. But she's not on the screen. She's not meant to be onto the screen. So we are using processing power 
to look after Jill. And we don't need to, yeah? We're also, we're glitching a little bit. Yeah, we're glitching just a teeny tiny bit. So that's got to be something. So if I joystick, that's that. And fire is that one, I think. Jump is that. So as you can see, it's going all the way down. Go on. See, here we go. Now, our multiplexer seems to be getting itself tied up in knots. Because there's Jill there, and she shouldn't... Oh, that's where she should... Yeah, that's where she is. But, look, it's... They're not there, they're not there, they're not there. So if we come here, it's... The multiplex is not quite working. Yeah. So we've got we've got an outline here, and the outline should be there. We've got a multiplex. We've got a multicolored sprite here, here, and here. And really, it should be multicolored, not white. So we've the multiplexer is getting its attributes screwed up and we need to yeah we need to we need to make it so it doesn't process yeah so it's getting its attributes messed up so it's it's setting the attribute but it's not setting it up for the right back so what I'm going to try and do is we need to look at the array for the multiplexer, which is here. Right? So we're going to start there. So that's what we need to look at. So it's 00970. And what's the other one I want to look at? This one here. So we want to look at O. A D eight and how many sprites have we got? Uh, Sixteen. Yes, no. Eighteen. Eighteen sprites. We also need to look at the Y, so that's another one. So nine C A. Because everything should be FFFF if it's not working. But in some of our sprites are at zero. And what else do I need? Let's have a look. Right. Let's look at those memory addresses. Because I think something's getting screwed up. Right, there we go. So we're looking for 09CA. Right, 09CA, that's there. Yeah. So this is quasi. So these two are quasi. Then we've got no sprite and then Esmeralda, uh, Esmeralda Jill. Yeah. So that's the Y. Yeah. So the Y looks okay. Because everything else is FF. Right, and the next one we need to look at is O A D eight. D eight is there. Right, this is the modified. That's the modified. So this is the this basically tells the system whether a sprite has been moved or not. Yeah. So if I move quasi, look. We can see quasi sprites say that he's moving, yeah? Now, Esmeralda should be moving. Uh, Jill should be moving. And it's not. It's not saying that Jill was moving. And I'm just wondering if that's the problem. Yeah? Because... She's still in the same 
She's still in the same place. The animation's still running. The animation's still running. I just don't understand. So we're definitely setting we're definitely setting that we're now nah, I think I need to jump here. There we go. Oh what's what's OA OA C six? Let's have a look at that. Here. Oh, that's on. Oh, that's the flag to say that is to be it to animate him. Okay, so that's all right. So we've got a we've got a few issues, right? The 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 system is still taking an awful lot of time to do the sprites. Now, if I go here, so our our array is here, yeah. This is RA, so this is saying, this is saying what sprite number comes first. So it's saying sprite three comes first. Yeah, yeah. So three and four, that's Jill. Yeah. Then we've got sprite zero, that's quasi. Sprite one, quasi. And then it's two, five, six. So we're still running through these sprites. All of them in the updater in the in the um, multiplexer, and what we don't what we what what we need to do is we need to be able to say that this sprite is not on the screen. Yeah, even though it's enabled, right? So where's enabled? Enabled is 0970. So if we look at 0970, right? So 0970, this is saying whether it's enabled or not. Yeah. So we've got 80s in there. So we've got 80 for quasis, two two sprites. Then we got nothing, and then Jill's two sprites. But everything else should be disabled. So it shouldn't be effectively doing those. But I'm not too sure if it is or if it isn't. So we've got to do a bit of investigation. Right, I know it's one of these. There we go. So, I mean, Jill, I don't know why that, have you noticed it just flashes, just there. It's trying to use that sprite, but the, mul the multicolor, yeah, we need, to, we need to, um, we need to sort it out because I think, yeah. So what we're going to do is, one, Right, buddy. One is we need to um, put Jill in sprite location two. So we need to change our constants, I think. Here we go. So, so we've got sprite zero, one, three, and four. So we need to make that two and three. So we have them continuous. Let's see if that puts Jill in the next two slots. There we go. So we've got Jill in the next two slots. But she's not on the screen yet, yeah? So let's get her on the screen. I don't know why he stops there. But we'll jump. Right, so there's Jill coming into view. Now Jill's in the right place. 
Jill is in the right place, but her multicoloured attributes on the wrong sprite. So we need to fix that. And also, go away. Also, we need a way, we need a way to tell the multiplexer that the sprite's off the screen, even though it's enabled, the sprite's off the screen and you don't need to do anything with it. Yeah, because I think that's causing us a problem as well. So, what I'm proposing is here, in our array, we have another, here we go, we have another another thing that says, that basically says on screen. Right, and what are we gonna what we're we gonna say? We're gonna say on screen is zero and off screen is like linked and enabled. We'll we'll set bit seven, yeah, because then we can do a branch if minus, yeah. So this. <laughs> All right, mate. We'll see you in a bit, yeah? So this is now basically our a flag. So we now need to, because um, we're only talking the X, we need to modify the um, X of the sprites. So when we set X, we need to make sure that we can work out whether he's on the, whether they're on the screen or not. Yeah. Now we've got we had a routine we had it in the multiplex, didn't we? So I'm in the multiplexer now. Let's boost the font because I've noticed it's a bit small. Let's go to the updater. I'm not sure if it's in the updater or actually in the IRQ. Let's have a look. Let's look in the IRQ. Yeah, it's in the IRQ, so we'll take it out. So what we're going to do is we are... Ooh, we're going to have to do it in two places, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to do it in two places because CopyX does it. In fact, we'll make a routine for it. Because we need a way, we need a way to determine this. In fact, we can do this. Ah, we can do this. Okay, we can use this. But we need to, um, so we need to set it in the modifier. But we need to test, we need to do it there. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, whoops, we'll create another routine um, where it says um, there we go. So we're going to have a routine that's going to t 
test whether we're on screen and set that, yeah? But this is going to be a routine that's basically not... I mean, we can use it outside, but it's going to be mainly used inside. So why... So we can uh, see... We'll copy that. In fact, we'll copy all of that. Uh, that's destroyed, but we're not going to have any output. None. We're not going to have any output. What we're going to do is we're going to do the whole thing. So we're going to load Y, and then we're going to do all this. So first thing we need to do is um, we may have to store Y because we could be destroying it in places, but we'll see. So this is basically to set that flag on, yeah? So this flag up here, yeah, on screen. So we need to get the X. We need to get the X value. So um, we we already know what Y is because we've already got it. So we can do JSR get screen X. And that's going to come back with the high value and the low value. Yeah, so let's go back to the test because this was the test. Here we go. So we're doing, we're loading the, the low and subtracting the delta. Well, we're doing that already here. And so we've left with two parameters. Yeah. So, so we can test um, the high byte. We can test the high byte, which is the accumulator. So compare the accumulator with two. That means that means it's off the screen to the right, right? Because if the high value is two, it's definitely off the screen to the right. So it branch if not equal to, well, in fact, uh, the ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah, branch if carry to say, um, Sprite is off screen. So we're going to put that here. And so we're going to say LDA hash dollar eighty. Store it in 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 in. On screen comma y because y is our sprite value <laughs> so let's go back here so that's so if it's two or more it's off the screen and we've set it to be off the screen yeah now if it's less, if it's less than that. Let's see. If it's one, then we want it. If it's zero, we want it. If it's two five five, it's technically bigger than, isn't it? So we can then do ash zero, store it in on screen, comma y. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do. RTS. Why use three three bytes when you can use just the one? So this should now um, get the screen coordinates. If it's bigger than two, mark it as not on screen. If it's less than two, mark it as on screen. So, but we need to run this routine now in many different places. So we need to do it here. Because we need to, when you set the X, because we could set the X to be like four or five, way over there. Yeah, so we need to do that. But we also need to do it in the add. Need to do it in the add as well. 
and the subtract. Remember Y is still intact. And the copy. Yep, Y is intact there. In fact, we'll do it after. We'll do it after the after the modify. There we go. So then we check it's on screen, but we don't need to do that here. I mean, it's apply it's applying X, but we don't need to do that now. We don't need to do that. We can do because it's already done. So we don't because at the moment we're hell okay, so no problem. We don't need to do that here now because you got to remember every time it's applying to X, it's doing it. Um, what we need to do here is if it's on screen. Yeah, we just need to change this. Right. Right, let's just rem that out and we'll change it because now we are doing um, LDA um, on screen, comma, Y. But then we are doing branch shift minus because we're setting bit seven. Hey, mind, go away, go away Nico. I haven't, you've had all the crumbs, go away. So we are loading, we're loading whether it's on screen. If it's bit seven is set, which is hex 80, we're saying we're gonna move the sprite out of the way, yeah? So we're setting X to be zero. Yeah, we don't need it on the screen. Yeah. But we also need to do it in the multiplexer. So this, let's get rid of that now. So this is the updater. This is testing whether, this is testing whether it's been modified or not, yeah? So we load. Has it been modified? No, it hasn't. Then it comes down here and applies all the automatic animation. Yeah. Now we could test for the in the animation whether the sprite is on screen or not. Oh, we could. Um, because we do, we test whether it's active. Yeah, we could do it. We could do it there. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to see because this doesn't run. This only runs for the physical sprites lot because the logical sprites it goes skip to here, so it's still doing the anima animation. But we can because it does. Yeah, I suppose we could do it there and just skip the animation altogether. So let's do that. Let's do what Stuart says and and branch if minus two. Where are we going to? We need to skip all that. Yeah, 
yeah, we need to we need to come here. We need to come here, mate. Like you said. So we'll make we'll do this. And we'll branch to that. So it skips. Oh, but we only want it to skip. No, no, no. We only want it to skip that sprite. So we need, we need, to, we need it here. We need it coming here. Because we need, we need to increase the sprite and then go back around again. Right. So we. So you're right. So we test it, branch if mine, if minus, it means it's not on the screen. We bypass all the animation. We can test that now. Let's test that now. Because we can see it in C64 debugger. See if uh, Jill's being animated. Because I think she's way off over there somewhere. Uh, where are we? It's somewhere here. Here we go. And sure enough, Jill is not being animated. So, for that suggestion, mate, congrats. Oh! <laughs> there we go. So, she's not being animated. Okay, so it looks like our off-screen test seems to be working. So let's just see. Uh-oh. <laughs> Quasi's not moving. Right, let's find. Where's the memory view? Where's the memory view? No. I'm sure it was control. Ah, that'll do. That will do. So we did it after the modifiers at OAD. Well, we'll just check. Control, control shift F3. I bet that's the one I've never hit before. No, no, no. That's that's um, that's the dis disassembler. Is it Shift F3 or Control? Ah, Control F3. Right. Let's find out where the data is. I, I didn't have the core. So on screen is O B E zero. O B O E, sorry. Right, let's have a look at that data. O B O eight E there. Hey face. So as you can see, Jill is set to be not off screen. Is set to be off screen. But Quasi is not. So our uh, Updater, we've broke the updater, mate. We, we we broke the updater. Right, so we need to look at this. But he he was um he was animating, wasn't he? And he's also over here. So, why would that be? X is 100. So, 
So what's the X? What's the X? Oh no, I need the um, need the build. Where are we? Right, X oh nine nine four is X. Right, let's have a look. Oh nine nine four. There. Right, so the system says it's at 59. Is that 100? No, it's 89. I thought it was. That's where he should be. Right, so if I move him, yeah, so he's going down and he's going up, but the sprite's in the same place. So we've bust it, we bust it. So, I think Yeah, I'm about to go there. I'm just checking it's not in here. So it's ply X we're looking at. We think that it's bust. There we go. Right, let's see what's going on. Well, that doesn't help. Does it? <laughs> Rem that out. So, transfer Y to A. Well, we don't need that either. So, Y is the sprite. So, we're loading on screen, comma Y. And if it's minus, then we say move the sprite out of the way. If it's not, Oh, oh, okay, okay. Right, we need that in. <laughs> um, we need that in because that's where it's set in the sprite. <laughs> but this is where we're doing the branch of minus. So, to be honest, we could move that up there. Right, let's try that. Is Quasi in the right place? No, he's not even on the screen. Where's he set at? 158, 158. Oh, right, okay. O, B, O, E, hang on. Because he's not actually being seen as well. Well, he's definitely not set. He's way off the screen. One. Come on down. The high bit high bytes been high bytes been set. We need that in as well. There we go. Now we've sorted it. We're back. We're back on the straight and narrow. <laughs> we've sorted it now. It's gonna be there. It's gonna. Here he goes. Right. 
Go on, Quasi, get rolling. Right. So, we need to jump. I don't know why we need to jump there. Right. See? Esmeralda's back on the screen, but she's not animating. Right. O B O E. O E. She's still set to she's still still set. Yeah. But she's still set on being off screen, look. She's still set to be off screen. Let's have a look at her X value. Oh, 0994. So that's, that's quasi Esmeralda. Oh, she's still, no, that's right. Oh, one. Oh, no. Esmeralda's still set at two. That's why she's. Let's get Quasi going. Go on, Quasi, jump. Right, okay. Okay, we've got to do it on, there's another, there's another routine that we need to do this on. So we need to do this, we need to grab that. When the screen scrolls, we scroll the, we scroll the sprite on the screen, but it's XY position is exactly the same, it stays still. So Jill stays still. In the stage, you've got to remember, in the in the stage, Jill is in one place. She stays still. But as we're scrolling, we have to move Jill's sprite across the screen. And that's the problem. We're not testing when we're scrolling the sprite whether she's actually on screen or not. Hang on. There is a routine called scroll sprites. Here we go. So this is where we scroll the sprites. So basically we loop through the sprites and we check to see if they're enabled. Yeah. If they're not enabled, we don't need to process them. But if they are enabled, we need to say it's been modified. Now, we need also we also need to do that. Whoops. Because the delta, the screen delta has changed. So we need to, we need to um, check the screen delta against her spot and is she now back on screen. So let's see if that's working. So we'll, we'll do it here. So we'll get quasi running. I mean, look, we're saving time because we're now, before we was up there, now we've got a bit of a gap at the bottom, so it's just a bit more. I have no idea why he's stopping there. Right, so she's still not animating. Okay. O B O E. O B O E. That's where. Right. So this is the, this is the Esmeralda, uh, Esmeralda Jill. On screen flag. So let's get Quasi over there. So every time we do a scroll. It should be reevaluating her delta. And it's not. Right. 
Why is it not reevaluating her delta? Let's put a um, a break point there. No, not there. Uh, we'll put it there. She's, she's not been disabled, mate. All we're doing, we've got two flags. We've got the enable that says the sprite is available and, and needs to be used. But we've got the other flag that says whether the sprite's on the screen or not. So we're just trying to... We're just trying to get find out why she's she's not changing. She should be changing. The scroll sprite should be changing it because that's the, where the delta is. And we're not running the scroll sprite. So how is Jill, how is Jill actively moving? Is there another scroll sprite? Well, we're doing it here. So we're not actually getting there. Okay. So the scroller scrolls the sprites. Every time it scrolls, it's scrolling the sprites. There we go. Right, what's why? So why is zero? So that's quasi. That's quasi's outline. Oh nine seven zero. Oh nine seven zero is enabled. Right. Okay. Can I get oh nine seven? Ah, there we go. So the four enabled. Compare with one. Compare with one. That's not right. Loading it, compare with one. Has this sprite been enabled? That is wrong. That is wrong. Because we're using the we're using um, its branches plus to no need to process because we're using bit seven on the enabled. That's why we set it to eighty. So if it's zero, it's branches plus. Okay, let's try that. It 
to 0970. So they're enabled, and oh, so there's, there's Jill down there, right. Off we go. So she's not animating, look. She's not animating. Right. Has she come on screen yet? No. Nope. And she's still set to 80. Right. Just put that back in. Let's put the break point back there. This should be Cool, it's baffling. Right, let's see if we can get it to break. O B O E. Right, so we've got enabled, we've got the X, we've got the Y, and we've got the enabled right so we've got everything on the screen so we can see so quasi's moving which 08 0 is is doing oh no that's the frame so where's oh it's up there there we go right we've broke okay so we're setting quasi to be enabled that's fine Then we're setting whether he's, so we're comparing with two, branch if bigger than, no, it's less than, right. So he's on screen. Okay, then it does the next one, which is sprite one, which is quasi again. So it'll do the same thing again. Sets him to be enabled. Right, here we go, sprite two. This is Jill. So we load to 07. Right, so this should be plus. Minus, yep. So we're setting that it's Jill is enabled, which we are, which is down here. So now we should be getting Jill's attributes. So, OF, that's the low. O2 is the high. Compare it with O2, which is equal to. Okay, right. Right, okay. So it's scrolling quasi look. So we'll move quasi over again. And we'll do it again. F11. We'll just keep an eye on Jill's X. But we should see. We should see a sprite coming on. Hang on. Let's can we get that? There we go. So we are looking for OB. That's here. So we should be seeing Jill's. So Jill's not on yet.
Can't be for long now. Right, it's got to be somewhere around here. Right, so that's quasi. So, quasi, quasi. Right, here's Jill. It's the multiplex, mate, remember? The multiplexer decides what logical sprite gets mapped on to what physical one, yeah? So... We're just seeing if, uh, right, this is Jill. Is she still being classed as off the screen? Yes, she is. Right, let's get it scrolling. Scroll some more. Scroll some more. Oh, we've got to jump, haven't we? Come on, F11. F11. Right. Jill is Jill is on screen. She's just there, look. So Jill is at one eight is at one eight two. Why has Jill Not been. Right, where are we? Sprite 2. We're on Sprite 2. Okay, so that's Jill. Sprite 2 is Jill. So we get the sprite. So OF. So she's at 81. Yeah, that's right. And 01. This has got to be 01. And it's set to O2. Oh. So the, sp right, the sprite's been updated, but her physical thing's not been updated. Okay, okay, okay. Right, it's gotta be in the update sprites. So we modify it, we check. She's got to be in here. Accumulator is the direction. No, that can't be right. Uh, I don't. I, I I know what you're saying, mate, but I'm not too sure because this is where we are updating the sprites. So I'm just wondering why the sprite physical location's been moved. Let's have a look at this where update sprites is on here. So this is the original code without the multiplexer. So what's the difference? Let's turn the multiplexer off. Um, 
Oh, this may fail. Hang on. No? Okay. Right. Where is build? I want that one. O eight E four. There, right. That's what I'm looking at. Go, Quasi. Go, go, go. Get going. Run like the wind, mate. Right, so Jill's on screen, and she's still set to O2, so it was it was doing it here as well. It's not updating. See, Jill is clearly on the screen at 1, 2, E, but our values are still at 2. So there's a bug in the scroller where we're scrolling the sprites. So let's figure out. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. All right, mate, I'll see you, uh, we'll talk to you later, yeah? Right, I've just had a bit of a brain fart. Um, of course she's at O2, she doesn't move. Jill doesn't move. She's still in the same place on the stage. I keep forgetting that she's still in the same sta place. What changes... Here's her delta. So it's irrelevant, this, because, well, it should be, it sh Well, I never knew I had those little uh, pictures in my chat. <laughs> right. Oh, sprite on screen by X. Here. So we're getting the delta. But the day de it's the delta, yeah, because we're taking the high and then minus in the the screen delta. So that's what we need to look at. That's what we need to look at. Right, let's do the scroll and see what the delta is for uh, Jill. Right, so the break's still there. Good. Um, we will put it there because I just I want to go into the routine right so it's the, it's the delta that I'm I need to think I need to think about the delta right let's do it again so the multiplexer should be on I think Right, let's get to the uh, old B-O-E. 
There she is. There she is. There the two. Right, Quasi, get legging it. Right, so we're at scroll already. Come on. Keep going. Oh, this is slow going. Right. So she should be... According to this, she's at 1BE. Yeah. So we're going to... There we go. So this is going to do quasi first. So this is uh, sprite 1, which is quasi. We'll ignore that. And we'll ignore sprite 2. Right, this is now Jill. So we are loading her coordinates, which is OF minus the screen delta, which is 1539. So what's at 1539? fifty one. So that's the screen delta is fifty one. Um Yeah that must be right. Because we haven't travelled that far. Right. Sub so subtract that we get B E which is what she's at B E transfer Oh, what a plank! And no one saw it. Can you see what I've just spotted? Anybody? Ten points in it. Negative? No. This is a plank mistake. Think obvious. What have I done that I shouldn't have done? No? Ten points in it. No. Okay. Right. Look what I'm sitting on. Plank. Absolute plank. Supposed to Ugh. Right, let's try that again. Let's take the break point out. Right, so the bot um Bikes, excuse me, the bikes are going to be different. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, O B O E is still on the cards. Yes, it is. Right. Go, Quasi. Let's get scrolling. Your woman is waiting for you. Off you go. So let's get into the other. No, we'll leave it at that. So she should be coming in. So we're keeping an eye on here, yeah? So 
So she's coming into view. She should have changed. And she has. Yes. And we are animating. Oh, yes. Get up the ladder. Right. So we haven't we haven't sorted the, the problem that she's all screwed up. But we've now... We've now got it that when she goes up, so when she goes off screen, she should start animating and this, I'm pointing at the screen, and this should go back to 80. So she's at 1B, 170, 180, 190, 1A, B, C, D, E, F, off. There you go. She's no longer a part of, she's off the screen. So, what we need to do now is we need to now let the multiplexer know that that sprite is no longer available. Because at the moment it's, it's chomping up CPU power saying that sprite is enabled. I need to deal with it. So, where we, where we here, where we load whether the sprite is enabled, yeah, and then we go to disable sprite which is down here we also need to do the same thing for really 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 we don't Because we're increasing the sprite index. But are we incre are we changing the sprite? Hang on, let me just have a quick look. Da -da 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 -da. Right, the Vic sprite index, that's the one. Do we change the Vic sprite index? No, we don't. We bypass it. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Right. So, if it's enabled, we, you know, if, if it's not enabled, we buy, the multiplexer bypasses it, yeah? And now we're saying if on screen, if it's a plus value, that means it's on screen. So, here we are going to say branch if minus to say, don't do anything with it, all right? So we can, we can get rid of this now, because we don't need all this. I should say, we don't need this, because this is set in the X. And the uh, X, yeah. So that's setting the X. So we'll get rid of that. So this is, that's setting the most significant bit. Now we are doing uh, here. This is where we're having a bit of an issue. Um, so this is the multicolor mode. Multicolor mode, branch if equal. So how we set in, how we set in multicolor. Let's go and have a look. Because I've forgotten. Right. Am I doing multicolor the same as way as I do enable, disable? Here we go. No. One or zero. Okay. So we load multicolor mode. Plus two. Let's just make sure that that's right. Yep. Yeah. If it's equal to zero, then we reset multicolor mode. If it's not equal to zero, then we turn it on.
Reload Y. And then we store Y here. Oh, disable sprite puts Y. Oh, right. Let's put that at FF. Right, let's see what damage we've done. There we go. Right. Go, mate. Go, go, go. So as you can see, we're not even processing Jill. The multiplexer is no longer processing Jill. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Are any usernames free? <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. Thanks for following. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Are any are any user names free? What a great name. Right, that should change it. Yes, it does. Cuz that's not my bot can't handle follows yet. Right. So She's just turned up on the screen, look. But we're missing this. The colour's in the wrong... The, the colour is in the wrong place. The multicolour is in the wrong place. Hmm. She'll be coming on the screen. Right, I need to cut the ladder. Right, let's... So that frame's in the right place. Let's change the colour on that. Can I change the colour on that? Oh yeah, here we go. So the two animation sprites are in the right place. It's just the colour's in the wrong place because that should be there and that should be there. Right. So we know the animation's right. So why is the colour in the wrong place? Um, think, John, think. He's doing that up right. So why is this wrong? Multicolor mode, yeah. So multicolor mode and color is wrong. Um Where's Disable Sprite? That's down there.
but we don't change the Vic index. Where's it doing the frames? So it's doing the frames here. Okay. Um, maybe I should set the multicolor and color here. Right. Where are we? Let's grab that. And grab that. Oops, I'll rem that out first and then we will put it here. So it's all at the same time. Oh, what's that at? One, two, five. MC done. Oh, that's there. Oh, oh, uh, hang on. Oh, that's going there. But we don't need to do that now. Don't need to do that. Right. So what I'm doing is, we know the frame, we know the animations on the right sprite, yeah? So I'm putting, I'm setting the multicolor and the color at the same time as I'm doing the frame animation. So, hopefully, we will see Well, the color is not right. Well, that didn't do it, did it? Because the multicolor mode's here. And we have two whites. And the brown's set there. So we've still got the same problem. Okay. That is annoying. Load the colour. I don't understand why that's not working. Oh, why is that got a comma Y on the end? Load the colour, store it in the sprite colour, plus I. Now I should start at 2, which it does. We know the frame's loading right, so why is the colour not loading right? What's colour at? Let's have a look at the, the array. Maybe something stupid. Uh, colour, colour, colour. Can't see. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's toggled. 
9 DC and 9 EE. We're going to have a look. They're the two arrays. So 9 DC. Here we go. There. 9 DC. So that's the colour. So 1, 9, 1, 9. So the colours are right. And 9 EE, which is here, is the... Um, yeah. Oh one, oh one, 1, 1. Right. Let's go... There. So nine DC. There, and we do have the multicolor on nine EE. There. Oh, that's that's quasi, and this is Jill. Right. Let's get moving. So these should not be set which is correct because we are not looking at Jill yet because she's not on screen yet there we go so Jill is being put in there That is strange. That is strange. Because it, it all was in... Oh. Baffling, baffling. X. Right. It's got to be something to do with X. Load X with the sprite index. So X should start off Oh, this is it. Sprite order. Disable sprite. That should. Put X, Y at the bottom. Increases the sprite index. Branch if not equal to here. So load the sprite order of the new X value. Transfer aim to X. Load the next one. Jump to the next raster. I'm wondering if I should come back to here. Evaluate the next sprite, because if it, if we're not dealing with it, let's try that. Let's try that. Why does it keep putting us? Have I got another one with two T's in it? 
I must have. Um, right, so the whole point of this is if the, if it's not enabled, we should still use the physic we should still use the physical sprite that we're on, but on the next logical sprite. That's what this does. Right, let's see if that fixes the issue. Because we're moving to the, the end and it could be getting out of sync. Oh, that's not good. Nah, can't do that. <laughs> that's not good. The, that's the IRQ just taken over. No. Nope. Can I? We've got it down here. But that's. Now put it back. Because we're doing the in, we're doing the update of the virtual sprite there, testing. If we're not equal, then we load the next. We test its Y value. Problem is the next sprite could be also disabled. Uh, Right, we need to, okay, we're going to have to, I'm just wondering if, because we're only testing it here, we need to test it down there as well. So we load the sprite, we get the next logical sprite, then we test whether it's, whether it's on, or whether it's on screen. So it comes back here. Until we get a, a right, let's try that. Multiplexing, ugh. And I thought I had this routine nailed. Wasn't quite right then, drunk. Here we go. Right, quasi move. So we've got, we've got, oh right, so we've got sprites at zero, that's okay, that's okay, right, so we should be seeing, there she is, oh, hang on, hello, right, now she's here, right? Because she's still not quite on screen, but the multiplex is now, look, can you see? <laughs> We've even got the raster bar in for Esmeralda Sprite look. It's their look. So let's just, uh... we've still got the problem of the scroller taking way longer than we thought. Right, oh, and there she is. Right, 
Right. Okay, let's see what it looks like properly. Uh, go. Go, Quasi. Go, go, go. There's still an awful lot of processing going on here. We've still got to op we've still got to optimize this. Try and figure out how to. But have you noticed the green bar's gone? The green bar's gone. The IRQ's gone because we're not processing. Processing. Because at the moment, Quasi is reserved. They are two physical sprites, right? Then we've got eighteen logical multiplex sprites. So it's not actually doing anything. Right, so there we go. So Jill is now on screen. Right. So if we go the other way, does she turn up? There, she's gone. Her her raster bar's gone because now she's gone off the screen that way. Okay, so we're all, we're all right that way. So let's see if she, she reappears. Does her raster bar come back? Yes, it does. And there she is. Oh, <laughs> it was too good to be true. Oh, look at this. Right, let's see what's going on there. F6. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Hey, Doctor. Thanks for subscribing, mate. Three months. Currently on a two-month streak. Hey. Evening, mate. Ah, oh, and my bot has updated like a good bot. Right. We almost had it. Almost. Um, here we go. Right. So there she is. So we go off screen, she should disappear and sh look, no longer, no longer processing. So we went to the end and then we came back, didn't we? So Jill should come back. So we should see a raster line. There it is. And there she is. So the multiplex is working on these two. So we'll let Quasi drop and go. So she should, she should disappear. Right. So she's still, what's she at? 167. 187 so she's still within the scope of the screen now so we got one at FF but the other one didn't go at FF and it's set them both to 100 Does she come back on the screen? We might need to make that screen test um, a little bit more.
a little bit more precise I think and also we need to look at the multiplexer because for some reason it only put one at I wonder if it's because of here Now that one, that's fine, it's this one. Maybe we need to set the Y of it. Oh, but we are, this, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not going there, is it? It's not going there. It's going here. Right, so that's instance one, instance two. This, this shouldn't be there. Yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to work it out now. This is jumping to here. Yeah, that should not be there. I wonder if that's what's causing the issue. Let's try it. Because it's not jumping to the right disabled place. Go on then, leg it quasi. Run like the wind, my friend. Right, so Jill's, Jill's uh, multiplexer arc is there. And we are missing a sprite. Right, let's see what's going on. Maybe I need to put, maybe we need a, is disabled sprite anywhere else? They're the two that I put in. They're the two at the top. Hmm. Right. So there's Jill. Yeah, I'm just seeing if if it's actually being used. Yeah. But the thing is, the multicolor sprites were showing. The multi. Why is the multicolor sprite not showing? Oh, look, it's an FF. Okay, uh, kadak, 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 okay, 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 okay. So, maybe this. Um, Mm. 
maybe it's this one here right okay um so this one is Reuse Sprite. And I think it's this one. Right, let's try that. Ooh, what am I firing up? <laughs> go, Quasi. Go, go, go. There we go. So Jill's back. Right, off the screen she goes. Oh, so close. Right, so close. <laughs> yeah, great ID. Thanks for the vote of confidence, mate. <laughs> oh. Let's try what Gray's asked for. I have a sneaky suspicion I think I know what's going to happen there, but let's try it. Right, leg it quasi. So we're basically what we're trying to do, we're trying to incorporate the multiplexer. We've almost got it going. So, so quasi's using physical sprites, just to recap. Quasi's using physical sprites, sprite zero and one. Jill is using logical sprite two and three. And the logical sprites are the multiplex ones. <laughs> yeah, so we're just trying to get the multiplexer to um, process the sprites that are on the screen and not. So she she goes off the screen and she turns off, and then she goes off the screen and turns off again. And and the reason why we know this is because this is her raster bar here in the multiplexer. So and. When she turns off, <sighs> that is really annoying. Control shift five, I think it is, yes. Right, we're just gonna get Jill on the screen and then we'll go backwards. We'll get a raster on the screen, which it is now. So we'll go backwards, because I think, I think it's the high, as someone says, it's the high bit, yes it is. It's the high bit. But the thing is, right, the multicolored sprite is there and the high res sprite is doing what it should be doing which is down here because we move it out the way <sighs> hmm 
Hmm. So the high bit set, which is not not too much of an issue, but for some reason, it's not. It should be um, setting it to two five five. That is really annoying. So the first sprite goes to 255 because it goes through here, we set it, we increase the sprite index, we get the next sprite which is the, the that'll be the multicolored one. We check that it's enabled so it's fine. Ooh. Just make sure I'm get myself tied up in knots here. Right, disabled enabled is enabled is eighty. Disabled is zero. So that so if it's zero we reuse the sprite. We go back and look at the next sprite. It's this one. But the top here, we disable the sprite and then we disable the sprite again. I'm going to put this back in grey. I'm convinced that this is it. This it's, it's around this arena somewhere. Okay, um, I'm convinced it's this bit here, it's around here. So we'll put a break point here and see if we break it. I think it's going to go to it all the time. Yeah going to go to it all the time so I can't do that yeah Yeah, I think you're right there. Yep. I don't know why it's leaving one behind. Get Jules raster up. There it is. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. And it should be doing it. It should be doing it because um, we disable it, we store it, we increase... Oh!
Well done, mate. You've just I think you've just sh you've just shown me what's going on. Well done, great. I think you've just sh you've just shown me what's going on. Um What's going on is we are still in the one sprite. So we're in this sprite and we disable it and then we move to the next sprite index, but we don't move on to the next sprite. So, um, let me just check. Right, so this is saying that the sprite's always active, yeah? There she is. Did you see it just flash and then go back? So there she is. Watch, you just see a flash up and come go back. There. So she comes back and then she goes. So the multiplex. So she comes back and then disappears. Now, why would we be doing that? Maybe. Maybe I'm being too clever. Maybe I'm being a bit too clever. Oh, we're back down here now. Oh, no. Right, let's work this out. We need to move to the next sprite. Maybe going here is not the right way to go. Maybe. Maybe I need to... I've got to jump out, I know. I've got to jump out. I've got to set the Y and then jump out. Do I need to do jump loop start?
If we have two sprites on the same line, it should be okay. Here we go, so we move to the next sprite. We load. Right, I'm wondering. So we don't do this. Ladies and gentlemen, 6502 kebab has entered the chat. Hey mate. <laughs> it's been a while. Um Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But it's still not going to go to the next sprite. It's we need to turn off the next sprite, and that's the problem because we've linked the two we've linked the two sprites together. So But the thing is, is it disabled a fine. It disabled a fine. It 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 worked until the very last minute. Right. Let's go. We'll just we'll just get her raster on so it registers that she's in the workspace. Right, there we go. So the raster's there. So the multiplexer knows about it and she's just off camera, yeah? So when we go back Okay. Um, hang on. There's another place around here. Here. This. Mate, do I do exclamation mark list and you'll see the proper command. <laughs> Don't shout. It's not going to hear you. <laughs> right. Let's see if this does it. No space. Right. Let's get her on the. Let's get her so her rasters on. There she is. So she disappears off the screen. A 
and she's they're still both set to 100. No, no, the high bit set. Still, so it can't be this. Have I got an X set in X somewhere else? Yeah, that's clear on the. I need to get it I need to get it to move to the next sprite. I need it to move to the next sprite. So the next sprite That's here. I think we need to do a jump to loop start. Oh, but do we? Load the Y of the next. So we load the next one in. The hoodies are not listed anymore. All right. Hello, iSpace. Oh, the hoodies are not there anymore. Let's have a look. Oh, it's marked as unavailable, mate. They've put in, in they've put in my dashboard that they're unavailable. Yeah, it's it's got a unavailable on it, mate. I'll leave it in there. Because when they become available, hopefully we'll be able to pick them out. But there is another hoodie. There was another hoodie. Um, let's have a look. See if I can find it. Oh, it's a fleece. It's not another hoodie. Oh, there's that one. There's another hoodie. Um, I'll have a look, mate. I'll see if the other, because there's another hoodie that hasn't, that's not got one available on it. So I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get that on the marketplace. Right, let's try and sort this out because it's doing my nutting. Um. So what we need to do, if it's disabled, right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab that and we are going to go branches plus. So if it's minus, we're going to load that in. We are going to load that. And we are going to literally 
we've set that and then we're going to go to the next one. So I'm going to bypass. Uh, bypass. Um, and we'll tell it just to carry on. All right, let's see if that fixes anything or breaks it even more. Oh, she's always, she's on all the time. The raster's on all the time. That's not a good sign. Well, she's there. She was there and then she disappeared. I'm just wondering if it's something else. It's about here, isn't it? There. Literally just flashes on and off, flashes on, and I'm just wondering if it's the um, because it's not going through this. Um, I'm wondering if I need to turn it off as well. So we set the Y and then we turn off the most significant bit. To be honest, I might as well just tell it. Put it all at zero. Right, so we turn the whole thing off. Right. But she's still being processed and I don't want that. Um. Oh, it's waiting for the next raster, isn't it? Uh, would, would that be a problem? Hmm, I suppose we'll find out. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks, iSpace. Now, my bot doesn't automatically do follow, so I have to do it myself. There you go. Oh, no, that's not how you do it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can't even know my own commands. Right. So. Come on, Multiplexer Jill. I don't want to see you when I stop. Right, she's on the screen. Does she appear? No. Oh, just for that fraction of a second. That fraction.
<laughs> yeah, I don't know, mate. I tried to get it let me know when everybody was joining chat and what happened. It went bonkers. Right, so there's... There's Jill. Here we go. Does she appear? Oh, she does. Oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> Spambot 2000. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've still got the code in there. I could switch it back on. Ugh. So it's not that. Okay, so why? Yeah, I, I, th I think I need to do that. I need to have some sort of temporary table in the database that just logs who's gone in. And uh, it also, you can tell who's gone as well, apparently. Why is this just flashing up? It's the most significant bit, isn't it? Oh, that's annoying. She just flashes there for a second. Well, I don't even know it's a second. Hey, off, mate. Oh, right. Yeah, well, we've got about fifteen minutes left anyway, mate. Because I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look at this. I think. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna trying to see if I can find out why it's coming up. Oh, uh, what my F five? That's what I want. So there she is. She's. She's active and she's coming in. Now while she's on the screen, oh, there we go, she's there. So let's go back and see what happens. So it's roughly about here. So she's at one FF. There. Now that's at zero, which is right, but that's at one hundred. She just appears for that. It's this one here. That's the problem. That is the problem because the most significant bit set and that should have been cleared out. Um, I wonder if I should put that back in. Let me just put that back in. I 
And where's that um, x equals zero? There. Oh, that doesn't help. Well, I didn't see that, did I? Right, let's see if she comes back on the screen. No, she's gone. Oh no, she she was there. Ah. <sighs> Wondering if it's here. Move sprite out of way. Where's move sprite out of way? Where's that come from? All ah, right. Well, that's there. Oh, hang on. Ah. Oh no, we're doing the turn off here. Okay. So it's not that. But there's only... Th so I'm not actually going here. We're not actually going there. Oh, I wonder. Maybe I should go there. set it but miss that and call that disable sprite Don't need that then. 
Don't need that. Okay. So there's Jill. Oh, she was there. Uh, for that fraction of a second she was there um, wondering if we see it because of the the order disable the most significant bit and then set reset it to zero now she's still there you can just see a flash Oh, gonna have to have a look at this, I think. If it's enabled, if it's off screen. If it's off screen, move it out of the way. Move to the next one. To be honest, we don't need to do that. Because that's jumping here. We increase that and then we store it. Right, if this doesn't work, I'm going to call it a day and I'm going to look at it in the morning. Uh, see, see if fresh eyes would look at it. It's got to be just something to just... Right. Yeah, she's still there. She's still there. Let's get a wave in, because that's all we need. There she is. It's this one. It's this one. Screwed up the multiplexer. <laughs> oh dear. That 
that's okay. It's here. Screwed up the multiplexer. Oops, wrong one. We're using three three sprites for gel. So if we get quasi just moving. Look. We have got two sprites sharing. So we've screwed up the multiplexer. Oh dear. Um, let me see. What have I done? That should be all right. Because that was just going there, and we're just doing the same thing there. So, um, we'll run that out. Because that goes there, stores it. Oh, it's doing the increase, isn't it? That's the th problem there. Um... We don't want it to increase. We want it to stay on the same sprite. Right, okay, that's the problem. So we need to go there. See if that fixes it. That's better. Right, so we've got a... Right, so she's back to just two sprites, so the multiplex is working again. Right. Let's see if she disappears properly. Could have done it. That could have done it. I didn't see a flash and I didn't look like it done it. Nope, she's still there. Right. This is doing my nutting. Right. I'm going to leave it there. We've... We've... <laughs> we've got it... We've got it working. We've got... We've, we've managed to optimise it a bit more, but I think we can do some more optimising, get more space at the bottom, because the, the scrolling is starting to behave itself a little better. Because I think it's just this top row that's, yeah, there. It's just glitching there. So we need to optimise it just a little bit more, the multiplexer. Because the, um, that is ridiculously amount, ridiculous amount of time um, to do it. Maybe I need to put Quasi in the multiplexer. Maybe. And just have everything multiplexed. We'll see. It's just annoying that she just flashes before she switched off. 
um, which is a an really annoying um, Oh, <laughs> I thought we'd get on. I, th I was hoping to have some other sprites on here working and getting getting the full whack of the multiplexer. Seeing how seeing how far we can push it. Oh well. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna have a look at this tomorrow um, and see if I can uh, figure it out. But we've got the multiplexer working because we've got one sprite here. I think yeah next time we'll add some more we'll add some more sprites maybe a couple more Jills knocking around just to make just to see how far we can push it um, and then we'll start working on this hood because I know Microman was looking at it and also we need to because now we've taken the kernel out we can't do the keyboard so we need to do our keyboard routine because at the moment I'm using the joysticks yeah and um, we'll see if we can iron out a couple of the issues that we've got. But that's where you guys come in. This is for you to sort out. All the bugs that I create, you need a fix. <laughs> All right then, guys. Right. All right, see you later. Right, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. And I will speak to you on Wednesday. All right, take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.